Hi guys, welcome back to the garden. How are you? How are you? How are you? I hope you guys are absolutely wonderful and having an awesome day, awesome week. It is another beautiful day here today. We have gotten so much done. Just a quick update. We did remove the lavender from this spot. And we I have decided, yes guys, I have decided what rose is going to go there. We are going to put Elizabeth there. Mm hmm I think she is going to be the perfect rose for this spot. On the David Austin website, she is rated as best for flowering, best for health, and best for fragrance, right? Three in one. I cannot beat that. Um, I did look around online to see if I could uh, find some reviews um, from other gardeners who have grown her. But there weren't many reviews online, but I'm still thinking just based on a description and based on the photos that I've seen on the David Austin website that she is going to be a great candidate for the space. Right, so we're going to go ahead and get her ordered and hopefully I will be able to, you will be with me while I, we put her in the ground, yeah? Okay, now it does mean as she grows four by four, so I'm going to have to widen this bed just a little bit. I'm going to have to take it out a foot more on this side. So we're just going to take a foot of space this way as we edge around the bed just to ensure that they can grow comfortably and i'm thinking i'm going to put three in the space <laughs> okay all right let, i'm going to start you guys with just a walk through the garden and as always the birds are saying good morning to you they're saying hello to you they're asking you how you're doing Hey, right we're going to walk you through the space just to give you a quick update to show you what the plants are now doing this is what we are three weeks from our first uh, video when we showed you all of these plants that were dormant coming out of their winter slumber these guys look at these guys I'm going to have to tell you that after this season I'm going I'm, I'm definitely just going to be into hydrangeas look at this this is a little haughty hydrangea okay and look how many leaves look how healthy Look how beautiful, right? When I planted these guys in the fall last year, I was so concerned because when I took them out of the container, there were no roots. All of the soil just simply fell apart. I was like, oh my goodness, this, this plant has no roots. But I went ahead and planted them. I, I was unsure of what they were doing throughout the winter because I couldn't gauge whether they were um, happy or whether they were going to be bouncing back for me because of course they're not putting on new growth in the winter, they're going to sleep. But look at these ladies, guys absolutely beautiful and they're all doing the same thing let me take you across here to number two look at that that is beautiful so the hydrangeas guys are rock stars they are doing an awesome job okay and a quick update on our little princess here mm -hmm. sally holmes i always forget her name sally holmes is growing look at her all right she is doing good, healthy, leaves looking healthy. I think she is going to be, ah, she's going to be perfect. Now, I did learn something, guys. Let me show you what I learned. I'm going to get really close here for a quick second. I don't know if you remember, during that winter, when we did that late winter walk through the garden, I noticed I was concerned about these roses because they had died back, right? Now, I have noticed, I did get some good advice from one of the comments online. They said, leave them in um, for a while as they may spring back from the roots. Now, I did notice that for all of those that had the green at the base, do you see the green on her stems right here? On her cane, I'm sorry. All of the roses that had the green at the very bottom, they have come back. But for those that browned all the way down, um, where the canes are completely um, brown all the way down to the ground, they have not come back. So, we have learned something new. If the plant, if the rose dies back, but has some green left on those canes at the very base, then we have a very strong possibility that our babies will spring back for us from the roots. But if they die back all the way to the ground, then it is quite unlikely. We've probably lost that rose, eh? Well, that, in, at least that's what I've experienced this season. Mm -hmm. All right, let me walk you guys through the garden a bit because I, I just want to show you the hydrangeas because they are doing their thing. All right, and I want to show you a plant here that has just um, knocked my socks off and not in a good way, right? My plants have done the strangest thing, guys. During the winter, late winter, 
when we did that walkthrough. They were looking good. I was like, okay, they made it through the winter beautifully. But now we are two weeks into spring and I kid you not, the plants do not look happy. I'm going to show you the one that I am most concerned with here. Mm -hmm. We are walking by Princess Anne. This is a, look at this, look at this. All right. This is the baby that we fed together when we did the video on fertilizing the roses. So that was a week and a half ago. And look at, look at her. She likes her food, right? Yes. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take you across to the plant that is giving me a head spins here that I just do not know what to do with her. Plants that just really, just, um, they've, they've, they've knocked my socks off because I have no idea what's going on with them. This is a sky pencil holly. And take a look at the sky pencil holly. This holly is not happy, and I, I just can't figure out why. Look. Look at all of the browning of the leaves. Just coming out of winter. Okay? And then, look at what she does at the very back. Do you guys, can you guys see this die back here? And they are all, there are four hollies planted on this run. And they're all doing the same thing. Let me show you. I'll take you just to the, uh, oh, sorry, just made a big move with the camera there. But take a look at this one. She's doing the same thing. Look at that. <gasps> this is, this is driving me um, up the wall here because I just cannot figure it out. I have read everything I can, the, everything I could find on Holly's, trying to figure out what is it that she's missing? What am I not doing for you, baby? But I cannot figure it out. No, oh, and see, die back here. And I guarantee, I'm telling you, the other two going along the bed, it's the same thing. The leaves are the same, and then we have die back on two or three of the stems. Hmm, I don't know. So I'm thinking, um, let me reposition the camera here. Bear with me just a second, guys, while I talk to you. All right, so I'm thinking I may have to take them from the space. I don't know. She's just, they're, they're, they're not happy. They're not happy. And I don't know how to make them happy. Hmm. Thinking. I'm quiet because I was thinking. So yeah, I may have to remove them from the space and replace them with something else. Um, I need to keep an evergreen entrance in the side because uh, I need that energy, that year-round energy in this space. Okay. I know the... Um, fire chiefs, they do their thing, but they're low growing. I need something with height that's going to sort of define the space and just add that depth and that green texture that we need outside of all the roses that will be here. So, and anyway, if any of you just seeing this, if you can say, hey, Naomi, maybe it's too much. I, I don't, I can't even say that it's too much water because we haven't been watering. It's been a wet winter, yes, but I don't know, but there's something that's happening and I just cannot figure it out. I cannot. I want to help you, mommy, but I don't know how. I do not know. Hmm. Maybe if I took them out and put them in pots where I can control the soil and the environment more, maybe they'd be happier. Um, maybe they would be happier. So that's something to consider. I'll probably, because they're still alive. She hasn't completely died. So I'm thinking maybe take them out of the ground replant them in pots and then just baby them you know just baby them and see what happens but i don't like this yeah because i can't explain it that's what that that's that just um troubles me but all right okay moving on all right guys so to spare you the bouncy up and down as i walk i actually walked over to the other bed here this is where we were removing the perennial grass okay and it's the area that we have discussed that we're going to plant graham thomas now graham is one of those plants that's doing the same thing right came out of winter looking perfect and now in the spring it's not looking so good oh 
let me show you what Graham is looking like. I, I feel so bad because maybe I should have taken him out that week when I said when we were discussing it. I should have just gone for it at that time. But I, I just wanted to think about it to be sure that, that's, that I wanted to place him in this location. But take a look, guys. Look at Graham. Look at all of that dieback. What is going on with my baby? This is not good. And I hope I have a, a snippet from when we saw him just two or three weeks ago. He was looking good. So this, this, this baffles me. This I do not like, but this tells me that, hey, maybe he just really does not like it right here either. So I'm going to remove him from here and we are going to put him in his bottomless container. I'm spinning you guys around here as I'm trying to get out of the bed. <laughs> We're going to put him in his bottomless container and we are going to put him right here. And that we are going to do today. I want to show you just one more thing here before we get to work. Guys, forgive the noise. You're going to be hearing a lawnmower in the background. Hopefully you can hear me over the mower. But look at this other hydrangea here. This is the standard. Look at that. Look at those leaves. Look at these babies. This is amazing, right? Yeah. This is amazing to me because, as I mentioned, it's my first time growing hydrangeas, right? This is the one that we had cut back almost completely because of all of the twiggy growth. Let me step back so you can see. And let me show you the one in containers now, just real quick. I'll just show you one of them. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Now I just fed the one, thing. I just fed these guys that are in the containers, I fed them maybe, yeah four days ago I fed I um, removed a, the couple maybe three or four inches from the very top and I added some fresh uh, cow manure I did give them a handful of the worm castings because I'm, I'm, I'm experimenting with that this season and they were fertilized with a little bit just like a um, three tablespoons of the rose fertilizer that I use and I did use um, maybe another two tablespoons of bone meal yeah, so that I think should hold these guys down for the season. Now, because they're in containers though, I'm thinking that I may have to supplement because as, as we water, I guess we're washing out those nutrients. So I'll probably do a liquid feed on them. Yeah, depending on how they go, how they do. I think I might try a li liquid feed in these guys. The ones, only the ones that are in the containers. Well, I guess I, I, I can be partial. I'll probably have to feed the babies in the ground as well. And then I'll feel like I'm not being fair to them. But yeah, look at them. They are doing good. Look, guys. Okay. All right. And the final thing that I want to show you, lots of twists and turns this morning, is this. Look at this. Oh, another veil. All right. This is a autumn lily. Let me show you my tag here. Can you see it? Sorry. Yes, this is the Encore Autumn Lily Azalea. Now, I kid you not, guys, this, this plant looked good all the way up until Christmas. She kept her leaves. She was looking evergreen and beautiful. And then Christmas was when we had that deep freeze. And we just went into a very, very, very deep freeze for a couple of days. And that was it for my baby. I have been holding on to hope that she would bud back for me. Um, that she would... Wait, hold up, guys. Hold up, guys. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I was about to tell you that maybe she is gone, but hold on here. I'm seeing something. Hold on, guys. I'm going to um, put the phone in my hand so I can get you closer. Hold on. There might be life here. Hold on a second. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look at this. Do you see that? Do you see this? Oh, my goodness. Listen, I was about to take this baby out of the ground. I was saying, uh-uh, this baby did not make it. But look at this. Oh my goodness, do you see that? Hold on, let me, let me, let me go closer again. I can't believe it. I'm seeing buds here. Look at this, guys. Can you see it? Oh, I hope you can see it. I can't believe it. Oh my, my. Oh, wow. Now, you know, if she grows back, then this is her space forever. I simply would not take her out because... 
That means my baby fought to just make it through the winter. And she is, what? She's surprising me, guys. I thought these were not here just a few days ago. Oh, are you seeing these little nodes? Let me, let me try to put my hand there. Oh, there you go. Oh, come on, focus camera. Look at that, guys. What? I thought she was gone. Oh, my, my, my. Okay, then, mommy. Okay. All right, guys, another, another learning moment. Never remove a plant until <laughs> until very late in the late in the season because look at this I honestly came out here because I was going to tell you one of my jobs today was to take remove this little guy from the ground because I thought that I lost her Wow I am amazed so you know what I'm going to do right I'm going to have to feed her yep no this is this is this is surprising this is unbelievable if this little baby springs back, this is unbelievable. Look at those. Oh, man, I wish you could see what I'm seeing. There are little nodes in there. Healthy little green nodes. Let me find a bigger one. Let me see. Come here, bigger one. Come on, I need to get you on camera. Where are you? Oh, man. I'm shaking the branch, and I can't see the one that I'm holding on to. Okay, there she is. Let me pull back a little. Okay. Oops, there it is. Do you guys see it? Right there. Oh my, this is unbelievable. I am actually surprised. Yeah. Okay. Because I was thinking, I'm, I'm saying to myself, well, this plant is supposed to flower for me in the spring, right? Because she's supposed to flower spring, summer, and then fall. And I, I kid you not, look at, just pull away and look at how she looks. Yeah? All dry. I thought this baby was gone, but no, my baby's doing her thing. I'm so sorry. I thought you were gone, mommy. All right, look at you. All right. Okay, so this means that I'm going to give her a feed. Um, I need to read online real quickly what to feed azaleas. Hmm. I'm wondering if the rose, the rose um, fertilizer that I use, if that'll be fine for her. I think that might be fine for her, but I cannot believe this. Okay, guys, I'm going to update you on this one in about two weeks. You got to remind me to give you an update in two weeks. I mean, I cannot believe this. Wow. All right. Lesson learned. Okay. <laughs> guys, that was really amazing to me to see that Azalea waking up. I thought I had lost her because I'm like evergreen. I don't think she's supposed to look like this. I'm like, what? Oh, my. I'm glad that... Um, I stalled because I was I was going to do it maybe after we had done the the beds I was going to go ahead and take it out of the ground and replace her with a rose naturally a rose right but look at her doing her thing so I have learned yes I'm excited by that and I am wow I'm like all right you go girl she is doing her doing her thing all right so I'm back to where uh, we are going to work on our project for today okay so our project today is to get Graham out of this bed, get him into his bottomless container, in, and place him over there in the middle. And then what else are we going to do today? And then I would like to take Strawberry Hill out as well. Let me walk you to her. And guys, she did the same thing too, in terms of coming through the window looking all cute. And then, all of a sudden, she has just let go of so many of her canes. Do you guys see that? Strawberry, Strawberry Hill, my baby. What's going on? I'm thinking the only thing, <laughs> solution that I can give myself to comfort myself is saying that, is to say that, well, you know, she held on to everything that she had over the winter. And now that she's waking up, she's just dropping what she does not need so that she can be a healthier, more beautiful plant. And look for the, where she is leafing out, right? Absolutely beautiful. Yes? It's just that she has also given up a lot of these, a lot of these canes, but it's all good. So we are going to try to take her out of the ground today because uh, there's no way that she can grow, well, healthily in this bed with tranquility. Because again, tranquility is such a vigorous grower, he is going to take the whole spot for himself. So I'm going to put my little baby here in a container, which I am nervous about because I'm 0 for 4 in containers, guys. 
I'm seeing so many gardeners able to grow their roses successfully in containers and I have not gotten the hang of it yet. But I shall not give up. I will be intimidated, but I shall not give up. I'll go ahead and try anyway, right? I think the more tries, I'll probably get it right. So we'll keep on trying. All right, what else do I want to show you before we get to work? Mm, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. All right, so let me get to work here. I'm going to position the camera. We're going to roll up our sleeves, guys. We are going to start by removing those stones because there's a lot of stones in, those, in that bed. And then we are going to perhaps drop some soil and compost at the very bottom. We will get Graham into a similar pot that Tess is in. And Graham is going to be put right here. This is Graham's spot right here. Look at all these rocks. Oh, this is that's going to, oh my god guys, that's gonna be work. But let's start it, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get you guys set up. Alright, this is going to be a noisy process. You can just imagine the rake hitting the stones, right? So I'm gonna speed this up for you guys and uh, we'll see what sort of progress I make. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like. I've removed just this uh, circumference, is that circumference a circle? This space, this area, <laughs> so that I can place the pot here. And of course, I ran into my most favorite, um, unbeloved thing in the world, which is landscape fabric. And this is now that very thick stuff, man. This is this is serious. This this feels like um wow. It feels like nothing I've ever bought. Again, I inherited this from the uh, previous owner, so mm, they use some serious landscape fabric here. It's like wow very thick it feels like cotton really yeah all right so I'm going to figure out a way to get in here without actually getting in here all right so I'm thinking just cut a circle for the area that I'm going to be using pile it up with some soil and put the pot there to make it easier on myself uh, the rocks in terms of moving them that wasn't so bad I just used a rake and pulled them um, pulled them out to the edges and once I place the pot, what I'll do with the extra rocks is just put it behind the pot as well so that we keep, I, I guess it does work as a weed suppressor, the rocks. So I'll put that behind the pot, but everything below the pot should be soil. So now I'm going to go figure out something that I can use to cut into this fabric. All right, guys, so I found me some old pruners, my last season's pruners. So I'm going to go ahead and use those. I would not use the pruners that I use on my roses now because I'm just that finicky. I think that um, I'd be putting way too much germs on them. So I'm going to use some old ones. Now remember guys, um, I, just a side note, well I think you all know this already, right? Because you're all gardeners, but always, not in this case because I'm getting into the dirt, but whenever it is that we're using or pruners to trim back and to cut back our plants, always, 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 always clean them, sterilize them. I use two things every time. I use Lysol and alcohol. Every single time I pour, I pour the alcohol on the pruners, I wipe it off, and then I use, I then I spray it with a Lysol. Okay, but there we go rambling on about things again. Let's get in here and see if it will be easily removed using just uh, the pruners. I'll forgive the rocky video guys, I'm going to try to get you in there so that you have something to look at other than the rocks. All right, let me see. All right, I think you can see me. All right, let's see. Oh wow, guys, it's cutting. Oh wow, it's actually working. It's cutting right through it, like, um, wow, like nothing. Okay, I thought this was going to be difficult, but this is actually going to be easy. This is a good thing. So I'm going to put the camera down so that I can use both hands. Give me a second. I'll try to position you so that you can actually see what we are doing. All right, guys. So let's do this. It is going to work. I'm always encouraged when something works. Oh, when it doesn't, especially when I think it should, I feel a little baffled. But um, when it works when I didn't expect it to, oh, nothing can be that, right? Like this, I did not expect this to work. 
So the fact that it is working in so well makes me very happy. All right, I'm just cutting a by hand circle here so that um, the container is going to rest directly on the ground directly so so comp uh, what's that word guys when something touches contact there you go and um uh, all right it is working just another second let me change angles here i need to go to the other side Okay, try again. Alright. Now that the one's playing basketball. Alright guys. I'm glad that this is actually working way easier than I thought. Because I didn't even, when I was thinking about the project, I never thought about running into the fabric. But I knew it was, I'm not surprised because you, you normally put this down when you're going to put down rocks, right? So. Almost done here. Another, another inch. Come on. Don't give me trouble on the very last spot. You were just friends a little while ago. There you go. There you go. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, it came. Oh, look at that. And I cut almost a perfect circle too by hand. Look at me, right? All right, let me throw this away and let's place the pot oh, and see what it looks like. All right, guys, then we place our container. And then I will put, uh, let's see, tell me how it looks. This is about as sturdy as I'm going to, as level as I'm going to get in. Because the ground is what the ground is right here. We're just going to have to work with it. So it does have a slight lean this way. It's leaning this way. But um, I think it will be all right. All right. Let me go ahead and get my mix together to fill the pots. All right, guys, so this is the mixture I'm using for Graham. Now, Graham's mixture is a little bit different from Tess. When I planted Tess, I used the uh, gar gar da -da, the garden soil um, and the peat moss, just a little. But for Graham, I'm using the recipe I saw online, which is 60% garden soil, 20% peat moss, and 20% um, cow manure or compost. All right, and I'll have the two, granted they're two different variety of roses, but I will be able to see which one performed better. So I'll know, hey, which pot and mix works best for me. All 
All right, guys, so Graham is out of the ground. I'm going to pick him up here for you so you can take a look at him. He didn't come up with as much uh, soil around the roots as tested. Here he is. There's roots. All right. Let me see if you're seeing him. Yeah, this is Graham. So I'm going to just put him directly in his container now. Come along with me here. Alright guys, so just a close up again of what I did. Graham is now in the pot. I hope I planted him deep enough. <laughs> um, I always worry about that when I plant him, right? If you look, you can see the new growth starting here, and here, and here. And so I made sure not to bury that. Alright. I'm hoping he should still be able to pull on up here. Hold on, I buried his tag. Ah, there you go. All right, but this is, oops, my finger in the camera again, guys. Sorry about that. All right, but here he is. He is in the ground. Hopefully the new goat that has started here on the base, hopefully that will continue for me. And I will give him a nice feed. And as always, I time my planting with the weather. So we are supposed to have a lot of rain tonight. We're supposed to have some decent thunderstorms. So that's going to help me to ensure that he is watered in well. Mm, I'm going to watch these canes. Like this one in particular looks like it's gone. I don't know why he didn't cut it off. Yeah, but I may, I may just go ahead and prune that back. But yeah, this is what he looks like. And of course, I will give an update here later on. Okay, I'll do an update later on in the season so that you guys can see what he looks like. <laughs> okay, so for now, oh look at this guys. I missed this cane right here. So I'll go ahead and cut that off too. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give him a good, nice, deep soak. And uh, Mother Nature is going to help me out, as always, later on tonight. And fingers crossed that he will love this spot. Welcome to your new home, Papito. And you are going to grow beautifully for me, okay? Okay? All right. All right, guys. All right, guys. So, as always, I have to say thank you. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in the garden. I completely, totally, and just altogetherly enjoyed spending this time with you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button and remember to give us a thumbs up. All right. Oh, and guess what, guys? Remember to hit that notification bell because I will be posting new videos every week. All right. You got to be notified once those videos are uploaded. Thank you so much again. As always, guys, you are awesome. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.